Welcome to another UK scale and crawler video. Uh, this is just a quick one, just to show you what I'm doing. Uh, a little update. Right, as you can see, oh, I hope you can anyway. Let's see. Get to focus. There we go. I'm just in the middle of changing the brushes on my motor. Because uh, while I was out on the weekend, it was making a funky noise and kept squeaking. So, oh, may as well put some new brushes in. So, that was one of them. And that is the other one. Well, they're not in bad nick to be honest with you, but well, for the sake of do it, for the sake of five minutes, I thought I may as well do it. So what you do is you pull the gearbox out, as you know. And then once you've pulled the gearbox out, there's a little spring there. Alright, if you undo push that spring forward and lift it over, over that little tab, this will then come off and then your brushes are inside there so as you can see there's two new ones in it now so all I'm doing is I'm just running them in now there was a guy a couple of weeks ago I think it was Gareth Clements uh, or Gareth Clements or something so I think it was something like that um, was asking whether you can run a brush motor uh, in water and if they're waterproof so this was basically for him as well just to show that this is how you run your motors in. As you can see, it's working fine. You can see the pinion down there. Sorry about that, got rudely cut off because my phone ran out of blooming, ran out of memory. I'm just sorted that quick. Anyway, yeah, so as you can see, I've got new brushes in. It's been sitting in a big bowl of water for the last probably 20 minutes. I was just trying to soak some of the stuff off it. You can't really see properly what the water's like, but you can see some of the bits, but. It was absolutely caked in crap as well, so. But as you can see, if you watch the pinion. Hey. Right. It's running fine. And the old brush motors are fully waterproof. But I probably like to run the brushes in. Some people don't, some people do, but I feel it makes them last longer. So yeah, anyway, so I'm just going to sit here for the next 20 minutes with that underwater now and just leave it on a steady spin just so it'll carve its way into the brushes it's basically when you get the brushes, the blush, brushes are flat and then if you can see on this one, I'm not sure what you'd be able to see properly in them There we go Can you see the way it's gone like that? Like a groove in it well, that's because it's been, it's fitted round the comb. So the more contact patch you've got there onto the comb, the more torque you have. So yeah, that's why you're anyway. So that's what I'm doing at this very minute, changing brushes. So I'll just keep running this until I feel that I'm happy with them being run in and then game on. So hope that helps you. Um, if you need to know any more about it, just send me a message on uh, YouTube. I'll either fire you an email over or I'll message you back on there. Anyways, thanks very much, guys. I'll speak to you soon. Don't forget, hit that subscribe button. Uh, comment as well if you, don't, if you want to. And make sure you hit that like button as well and share it. Okay, thanks, guys. Bye.